Good day everyone and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future trading. We strongly recommend to stay on a sim as long as needed before you use real money. This is a very serious matter and please do not underestimate trading, any kind of trading, forex, future, anything. There is a high risk and you have to be educated. Uh, before we start cover uh, the precision auto trade, uh, this is uh, to our members. We did this today on the private webinars for members only. And uh, we shared that template uh, with, uh, with all our members in the webinar. And uh, that's why we started in the afternoon because after the webinar, the webinar was over two and a half hours today. And uh, we have covered a lot about uh, an art of trading because trading is an art. And um, we have revealed many, uh, many uh, good things in there. and. Um, and I will cover because we were covering some other auto trades. I will uh, highlight those. But to our members, this is the 400 ticks we share today with you guys. And it is a swing trading, and that's why it is in the afternoon. Uh, begin taking the trade. It was one trade, and it's not the amount. The amount is 3,700. But we need to be more professional than those amateur traders, you know. Uh, those guys, they're never going to get anywhere. But if you notice where the auto trade spot the short trade before it happened, normally stupid auto trades, they, in this area here, they start losing money. Long, short, long, short. And most of them they start reacting to the trade somewhere around that area here because they are based on just moving average 20 years old algorithm <laughs> but uh, the way uh, the es and the precision auto trade took the trade he predicted the resistant areas and he predicted the market and actually the market was doing very well today it is a little bit unusual for monday uh, the market moves a lot and we we spot it and then the auto trade the way also it closed the trade and then there is not really if we look at the the level we didn't miss anything uh, on the way down but the target hit and that was perfect trade one time one trade and it is done so this is really brilliant and uh, this one here <coughs> uh, we shared it with uh, uh, with uh, our people today uh, and they got the template however if we want to talk about missing a trend we did not miss a trade this is a still open a trade and it is uh, 2500 <clears throat> on the three minutes and this is the second round today uh, on the ES three minutes uh, I'm not gonna cover what uh, the results on the first one because you cannot see it and I only show on the second round uh, and uh, it did hit the target on the first round and this is the second round today uh, on the ES three minutes And uh, the, this new template made 3,700 and done. Overwhelming. Uh, another one uh, I did today uh, is uh, the 8 range. And uh, the 8 range also started after we optimized it this afternoon. Uh, on the afternoon session made 2,100, which gladly I will be sharing this to our members and our webinars uh, on the CL we still have this is also a new template uh, I made today <clears throat> and uh, this one also started in this afternoon 
and uh, right now it is climbing to the target with no sweat on that one and this one is a 9 range CL 30 year treasury bond we only have one chart 30 year treasury bond we use 60 second and it's doing very fine uh, moves slow and that's good a CL 3 minute we still have an opening position nailed 1800 uh, on the 3 minutes a CL 10 range already hit the target 1000 all of them are on the daily target 1000 3 minute NASDAQ hit 2300 uh, ES 170 tick I always highlight what I like and uh, I always mention which my favorite charts and uh, this is the 170 tick it's a very consistent I don't know how much we'll make tomorrow I cannot predict what the market will do tomorrow but today as we speak the 170 tick I highlight this one it's doing extremely well and it is very consistent so if I have a choice between <clears throat> this one here and maybe another time frame maybe I will use the uh, the, the 170 ticks. It depends how you want to risk the market and what kind of approach you want to approach the market. NASDAQ in three minutes, as I have covered with my previous um, uh, on the precision auto trade, because every auto trade have his own thing. And on the NASDAQ, I find that there is more money to be made on ticks than the minutes on the Nasdaq but anyway we have to show the minutes and we have to show uh, the takes <laughs> Nasdaq 3 minutes scalping 1440 CL 12 range 1940 CL 5 minutes 1340 CL 3 minutes 1100 ES 28 second I like the 28 second the reason I like the 28 second because you have some traders they cannot read the market when it's flat or when the market is sideways on the 28 second you get a greater move and then no matter what I mean even if the market is very slow you're gonna be uh, see some action on a 28 second because it's a very small time frame However, if you are using the 28 second on ATRs or MACD, you will be in a total disaster and it is lose-lose situation because when you are using 28 second, you have to have efficiency on the entry, efficiency on the exit. You cannot use moving averages like ATRs, MACDs and all this nonsense. 20, 25 years old. So, <clears throat> if we if we look it's not about the PNL 1000 or not if we look on the 28 second the precision auto trade has no filter but you can see there is space between every trade and it is in the scalping mood and when he sees an open small window he jump on it and that is an art because when you are auto trading you have to think there is a uh, millions of traders out there they're auto trading too you're not the only one is auto trading and the one is a smarter auto trade and more education spot the market how it's moving this is the guy is gonna clean the unqualified trader and uh, those kind of traders where they're just passing by, but they will never stay forever. So uh, this is a really a statement on the 28 second. CL is the same story as 49 second, 1490. ES, five minutes. And if we also on the minutes, we can see there is distance between 
trader. This is very healthy for an auto trade. Not to be dummy auto trade, a jump into the trade for every movement in the market. For the ones are experienced enough, they appreciate the, the distance. The distance is not based on timing, no. The distance is based on the price action. And that's why you see there is time between this trade and that trade and that trade. So I prefer an auto trade to take a three trades or two trades or one trade to be efficient than to be all over the place. The more you expose your account to your broker, the most likely you're going to lose money. The less you expose your account to the, your broker, most likely you're going to last in the trading. As simple as that. Uh, you don't sit in the casino all day long and you think you make money. The same thing here in the trading. A minute chart, uh, two minutes. This is a beautiful uh, trace on the two minutes. And it was done by 10 o'clock. Perfect trade, 3,112. Easy. One, two, and it's done. And if we notice how the market enter the trade, it's a base on a pullback, not a breakout. Not a breakout. When you're auto trade, just base on a breakout. A lot of times the breakout are false breakout. And there is tendency for this market to go back to confirm some kind of level. But when you take in the trade base on a pullback, support that is a different ball game so uh, maybe a guy uh, especially like those area here if your auto trade don't think the the, the 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 beauty about auto trades to be friendly use to the traders easy to maintain for the trader and the complication is under the hood where he don't see it it just he optimize and go forward, easy, friendly use, and um, and uh, the complication should be in the engine, and he should not worry about it. Uh, the three minute Nasdaq is 1460, CL 28 second, 1230, CL4 range, 1260, and the YM five minutes, it is uh, 23.65. Uh, we are going to jump on uh, the TI7 auto trade. And the TI7 have a huge variety of uh, uh, filters. There is around 10 entries and 10 uh, filters on the TI-7 and uh, you can cut the trade the way you want it. You can set your own condition how this auto trade wanted to be traded. And, uh, and uh, people come with different. You have people with 2,000, you have people with 5,000, you have experienced people. You have educated people, you have uneducated people, you have people, they know the rhythm in the auto trading, and you have those people, they think it's a wash machine, you just turn it on in the morning, and you come back in the evening, and you find your wash machine full of dollars. So, you have different type of people, but uh, we will We'll concentrate on the realistic people. And uh, this one here for people that have been around, you can cut the trades they want. You can slim the, the auto trade to one trade a day. You can be as, as, as aggressive as you want with it. And there is a very state of art filters so you can avoid a chop market or sideways. And the reason for many filters, not to be bragging how many filters we have, or how many entries 
because sometimes what works on the ES does not work on the NASDAQ. What works on the NASDAQ does not work on the CL. As an example, I only have, if you go back to the videos, I only have the DAX on four minutes, and that's the only auto trade on the DAX I have is on four minutes. I've been using the four minutes for a little over a year now. And it is consistent. Of course, you have a losing trades, you have winning trades, but it is consistent. And what I do, I use the market analyzer to predict the DAX from the ES, whether you know it or not. That will give you milliseconds more when your auto trade is traded. You can spot if you are on the right direction or not. But the DAX is a very fast creature. If you if you blink your eye on the DAX will bite you. And uh, if somebody has been uh, military, uh, it's like the aircraft Harrier, you know. You cannot blink your eye on it. It can bite. And this one here, I don't know why, I connect the aircraft Harrier to the uh, DAX chart because it's very fast and uh, if you blink your eye can bite so on the CL uh, 13 range it is uh, 1440 and it is brilliant uh, avoid uh, chop uh, CL 5 minutes did very well a uh, 12 range ES did very well uh, the 3 minutes did also beautifully done the CL uh, the uh, the YM, I apologize, the DAX we just covered, 3,900. And then ES, three minutes, did very well. And uh, we have the 11 range. Again, you can see the time and how far apart from each other. It's very healthy. And then uh, ES, four minutes. Uh, ES, 11 range. 22.50, uh, NASDAQ 2 minutes 14, and then uh, we have the ES 5 minutes, 3,650, and we still have one trade, only one chart left, uh, is the 800. This is the institutional auto trade, that's a total different one, is even twice as big as the TI7. That chart, the five minutes today, we covered in the room with our traders. And uh, the reason, and we, I forced closed right there. I forced closed right there. Uh, and uh, what happened when we were in the room today, when the auto trade took a trade in there, uh, we showed some trick how we can maintain the direction and when the auto trade came into this area here where is most of the traders panic and you have like around from one hour and uh, cases like this uh, an auto trade will close and the traders they usually panic especially when they go live and uh, what we did in the room today we showed how to use the, the other systems to indicate there is more beef in the market and we're still going on the right direction in conjunction with the new market analyzer. So when, when the market was going sideways, we stayed on that trade. And then all of a sudden, the market because we we I showed today in the private webinar to our traders how you can predict it ahead of any other people are auto trading because the secret in the future trading called future trading in another word <clears throat> you cannot rely on an ATR back on the past bar or MACD because they plot base on the past bar. What we are looking for 
to predict the future because you are trading the future. So your whole economy is based on predicting, not based on the previous bar. That's why small indicators, when the market move, if the, if the bar is up, they tell you it's long. If the market is down, they tell you the market is down. That is not going to work in 2022. That could have worked in the late 80s, early 90s, as I remember. But here, we are now in 2022. You have to predict. Everyone is online. Everyone is auto-trading. Everyone have algorithm. You're not the only one has algorithm. The smarter, the better, the more educated is going to win the fight at the end of the day. So today what we did, we have done, the reason this one is 7,787, because what we did, we were monitoring the momentum in the market. So when the market was flat, we knew there is much more beef to the upper side. And then what we did, uh, we force closed right there. And the market did go sideways, pull back, and then went up again. I can make that auto trade because of the webinar I forced closed. I could I could have stretched this trade to ten thousand. And <clears throat> when the market is trending, this is an advantage uh, to to maximize the profit and overtake the auto trade. And that is the difference between an educated person and educated person. An educated person, the same auto trade, probably he would have walked away with a thousand dollars. Because we spot the momentum in the market, the pressure in the market, we have increased it to 7,787. And that's what makes it different. And I think we were using, I didn't show that, I think we were using, I think this chart here. No, not this one. I mean, I don't drag everything down. Not this one, no. Uh, but uh, as I remember also, we uh, we covered also uh, the Nasdaq. So this is the institutional auto trade, and the 7,700 was not made by the auto trade alone. It is made uh, in conjunction with uh, knowledge. So uh, we have ES five minutes, second round. We have ES four minutes, second round on the institutional. We have ES also five minutes. Uh, this one here is only one round, and now we still have a trade on the ES five minutes. The ES four minutes, ES five minutes, and ES five minutes. The same auto trade, different entry, Puri. So for the people who are comfortable, and uh, they can use reversal auto trade on one account, they can use institutional on, on one account, or they can use the precision auto trade on one account, and they can use the TI7 on another account. So there is a brag, um, we're not bragging about auto trades. We have around 15 in your package. We are, uh, as a guy, you wanna come in to trade in. It's like you wanna take an engine out. You have to have a proper tools. You cannot take the engine out with a plier and a screwdriver. You have to have the proper tools. In the trading, you have to be more serious. Mondays are different than Tuesday. Tuesdays are different than Wednesdays. Some people want to scalp. Some people want to swing. Some people want to take a high risk. Some people want to take a low risk. Some people are advanced trader. They can go in and tangle with the, uh, the institutional or the TI7. 
And new beginners, they should start with the precision auto trades. When they start getting educated, they can upgrade their self because everything is in their package. And now they can go to higher level of trading. He don't have to use 15 auto trades, purchase on Sunday and start 15 auto trades on Monday. No. The higher you are in the trading, we can provide higher education for you. The beginner, we start with him with beginning. Medium size, we start with him medium. Higher trader, advanced trader, we put him right on the spot. It fits his need because not one size of shoe fits all. You know, uh, uh, money, experience, risk, rewards are different from one trader to another. And we try to compete and keep our prices just as normal as simple guy selling an ATR for 5000 That's all what he has, ATR for sale, where with the same amount of money, you get a whole toolbox with the same amount of money, not just one lousy auto trade. Folks, that's all what we have for you today. I want to say thank you very much. And we'll see you tomorrow on the other channel, live at 10 o'clock Eastern Time. Bye for now. God bless you.